I'm about to shoot these like a Casey Neistat vlog. Let's go. <sighs> okay, guys. So I woke up today with two tweets. One being SnickerCon, which I'm totally embarrassed of. Um, me trying to shoot a basketball. And I look like a fucking 70-year-old retired D-League player, if you ask me. Then they got me laying this up where I was trying to lay it with my left hand. So that's why I look kind of crazy. But as you guys may or may not know, June 3rd and 4th, we will be in Chicago for the Hoops Classic. So make sure you guys are there. If you're in Chicago, it's going to be lit. Second up, I come here and see that I made Complex once again with their title, The Difference Between Clickbait and Clickable Videos. And they got me on the side right here. You might not see it, but I'll make sure to put up a little picture or something so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. I just don't get what Complex is trying to do and accomplish here. They, they talk about the trends and the copycats, but yet they're just jumping on the same trend to get the views like we are. They're saying that everybody's selling their sneaker collection. Well, you're making an article about it because it's hot right now. That's what everything is about with YouTube. Doing the thing that's hot at the moment. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But I'm not gonna get too much into that today. Today, we're gonna go window shopping. And honestly, I didn't wanna do this, but I do need to see it for myself. Um, The copper foams dropped today. That's pretty much all that's really dropping this weekend. And uh, Saturday's nothing too serious. I wanted to head down to the Dead Mall because the Dead Mall actually will have a pair of copper foams. Our objective today is though, to wake up, which we already done, go check these foams out, then eat come back and edit this video and drop it for you guys to see. But let me know if you like these type of videos a little bit more. Maybe I can do some more down the road. Vlog lifestyle? Hmm. Who else doesn't do it by now? But let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. And as you can see, we got the new Sample Line D track pants, which will be releasing this upcoming Saturday in gray, orange, and yellow. So I'm looking forward to that. Make sure you guys follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, all that at S-M-P-L-I-N-D, SampleIND.com, on my Twitter, whatever. These are going to be going live this Saturday, and I expect them to sell out. Bull. You should be getting this by tomorrow. Hopefully nobody intercepts and steals our shit. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just made it to the Goodwill, and this is a huge Goodwill, by the way. I mean, it's got like three different centers, a donation center where you donate, the place where you shop, and then the place where like the support team, and then the training goes down. It's, it, I don't know, it's extremely weird. It's a huge Goodwill, but last time I went, they didn't have shit, but they were just opening up, so maybe, maybe we can find something different, man. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Champion. Seems like it might still be the same thing as last time. Seems like it still might be the same thing as last time. And one. There you guys go. USPA. Yeah, it's not gonna look like a good day. Oh, we got the cost. That's too small though. Got this Gator shirt. Extra large, those. Huge. Too big for me. Alright, guys. So, I had to end that one quick. It was nothing in here like last time. And, and I think it has, I think thrift stores have a lot to do with demographics. And right here in this area, it's more of a white people area. Nothing against white people. I'm white. I'm half white. But. I don't wear eyes eye, I don't wear American Eagle, I don't wear the shit that's in there. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably why it's like that right now. But over time, we'll keep checking this in. But we're gonna go stop at the post office, see if there's any, you know, mail from the supporters, and then head inside the mall and see if you can look at these new copper foams. We can go see what's in this Marshalls real quick. Somebody said I need to start buying K-Swiss. 10 bucks K-Swiss. Nice. 
Nike shirt, six bucks. These jeans. The stretch. We got a couple pair of jeans, but not how I like them. There's a good chance I can get kicked out for this camera because it's humongous. So, just bear with me. We're about to enter the Twilight Zone. Nobody's even here, but these are here. There they go, y'all. They got the, they had the 11s right here, bro. I would've, I would've came up here and got them. It's crazy. I would've came here and picked these up real quick. Instead of going out to the Lennox. Did y'all, y'all did a right? Nah, I feel ghetto as hell being in Foot Locker doing this, but these are dope, but I'm just gonna wait on the eggplants. I wanted to see them in hand, maybe down the road if the price does drop, which I've been waiting on the royal price to drop. I come out there and get them. Foot Locker chance, whatever, but they, these are sitting. A lot of you guys say you gonna cop these, but they're everywhere, so let's see. You know, who bites the bullet? Let me know if you did that down below because you guys were talking about my top 10 pickups of April saying I was slipping, but I ain't, these are sitting. So yeah, man, Matt at Foot Locker just told me that there's a sneaker shop opening up in here. That's a little crazy. But uh, yeah, man, quick little look at those phones. Window shopping at its finest. Call it what you want. I think I need some Zaxby's. Can I get a, um, let me see, a kicking chicken sandwich meal? Kickin chicken sandwich meal, what's your drink? Let me get a Dr. Pepper. What is the offer today? Yeah, two Zach sauce. Now this is my first time really eating bad like this, straight fried food. I've been on a diet real recently, uh, you know, as I was stated I would do, and I've been working out as I stated I would do. But right now, I just am craving some fucking Zaxby's, and I don't know the last time I ate Zaxby's, probably been about, <sighs> It's been some months. It's been some months, bro. But a kicking chicken meal right now would be life. Let me move this up a little bit. So as some of you may or may not know, I'm actually moving out of this apartment pretty soon too. I'm gonna be moving in June. And one of the reasons why, and if you're a new apartment looker, looking into a new apartment, I suggest you think about the same thing, is because I have an up and down stairs. Now that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to move here in the first place, it's because of the up and down stairs. But now I'm tired of it. By my house being separated up and down, I tend to not want to be downstairs as much. I don't want to be in my living room. I like to be in the studio or my bedroom. I don't like being downstairs. Like to watch TV, I'd rather just watch it in my bedroom or in my studio. Because going up and down stairs constantly just gets annoying at times. It's not about being lazy or anything like that, but it just was, I'd rather be able to walk from one room to the other and I have to go up and down stairs. It just gets annoying. Now, when Gus come over, it's not a problem as much, but right now, I don't have that many people just coming to my crib like that. I'm not that type of person to have everybody over. So this living room hardly gets ever used. I feel like though, however, when I move to my next place and the living room is like right next door to a bedroom, I'll be more reluctant or I would be more, you know, I would want to go to my living room more to watch TV rather than in my bedroom or, you know, in the studio. By the way though, this week's been really slow, you know, for Jordans and for Adidas, just for sneakers in general, not just sneaker YouTube. Sneakers in general has been a slow week. Nothing's really released this week. The Copper Foams just dropped and we just did a video on that going to look at them, but nobody's probably gonna go cop those. So this week's been really kind of slow. However, next week is gonna be a whole different animal. We got the Pantones dropping. We got SneakerCon Bay Area. So collabs are coming with all your favorite YouTubers and some of your favorite YouTubers. Possibly some sneaker stores here and there. I got a couple things that people reached out to me that wanna do some vids, so I might link up with them and we'll just go from there. But I'm looking forward to next week. The Sample IMD. 45B2 uh, drop is going down this Saturday. The pants, the jacket, shirts, all that. 
I will link down in the description the full release info if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know what you like. I like to add different types of videos. Sometimes we can just do the reviews, the unboxings, the vlogs of the sneaker stores, the vlogs of just the regular life vlogs, like me just going and chill. However, I do have a vlogging channel for that, but that's mainly non-sneaker related. You can go subscribe to that as well. But feel free to comment down below and just let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. I love you guys and thank you for all the love and support. It's your boy Tony Digital bringing back another visual. I'm checking in, I'm checking out. Peace. Push me to the edge.